Are you aware that your self-assessment needs to be filed by the 31st of January? Self-assessments can be an overwhelming and complex subject. Today we will be discussing the requirements of a self-assessment and how a VASC can navigate you through its complexities. What is a self-assessment? A self-assessment is a means of the individual informing HMRC of any tax liabilities that needs to be paid for the previous tax year. If you are paid via PAYE, then income tax and national insurance contributions are deducted at source through payroll and therefore no self-assessment return is required. However, you will need to complete a self-assessment if you fall into one of the following categories. If you're self-employed and your income is over £1,000 after allowable deductions. If you are a business owner and taking untaxed income such as dividends. If you received untaxable income outside of your business in excess of £1,000 such as rental income, for example. If your income is over £50,000 and you are in receipt of child benefits. Or if capital gains other than a sale of a house is also completed then you would need to do a self-assessment. How much will I need to pay? Income tax for the self-employed is calculated on the profits plus any other income, meaning you will have to pay tax on any earnings that exceed the personal allowance on your total income. If you're an employee, you only have to worry about paying the remaining tax owed through any self-employment profits or any other untaxed income that you may receive, such as income from a property or Another type of investment. Your personal allowance is an income of up to £12,570 and you will pay no tax if you only earn this amount or less. Beyond that, you will pay a basic rate of 20% on income between £12,571 and £50,270. Then there's a higher rate tax of 40% on income between 50,271 and 150,000. And then there's an additional rate of 45% on income over 150,000. You will also have to pay self-employed national insurance on any self-employed profits. The amounts will be calculated by HMRC through your self-assessment and they must be paid by the 31st of January each year along with any income tax you owe. So you might be thinking, is there any ways I can mitigate the tax that I need to pay? If you had a business expense from your self-employed work, these can be offset against your income from your self-employment and in turn reducing your tax bill. Also, any trading losses incurred in the current tax year can be offset against the total net income and any remaining trading losses can be carried back to the prior year. Vice versa, any prior year losses can be brought forward and can be offset against any trading income of the current year. Likewise, the same can be applied in relation to capital gains. Working with an accountant such as a VASC will help you to look for ways to mitigate your tax that you pay out. So what are your deadline dates? If you've triggered any of the previously discussed requirements to provide a self-assessment for the last tax year, the deadline to register for a self-assessment is the 5th of October of every year. You have to register in order to receive a UTR number, which you will need when you come to file your returns. From then, you will have until the 31st of January as a deadline to file your self-assessment return with HMRC. The outstanding tax owed then needs to be paid on both the 31st of January and the 31st of July. So is there any penalties that you'll need to pay if you don't do your tax returns in time? Well, you'll get a penalty if you miss your deadline for submitting your tax return or for not paying your bill in time. You'll pay a late filing penalty of £100 if your tax return is up to three months late. Penalties then progressively increase for both late penalties and late submissions you'll also be charged interest on any late payments. A VASC can help you navigate through the complexities of submitting a self-assessment and provide you with the best tax advice along the way. If you're unsure whether you should be filing a self-assessment or if you're unsure as to how, please contact a VASC before January so we can make sure that you file your return in time. <laughs>